So it kind of reminds me of Jurassic Park here with the high electric fences and the animal enclosures. It's like, expect to come around the corner and find the raptors. Standing. <laughs> Here at Homosassa Spring State Park in Florida. An interesting bit of history about this particular state park is in the 60s, there was a company that trained animals to perform in television and movies. And so this was actually kind of where they housed those animals and those animals lived. And if you ever remember seeing the movie Gentle Ben, the bear that was in that particular movie was actually here at Homosassa State Park along with the other animals that that company owned. So one animal that is still here today, even since the 60s, is a hippopotamus. So we're gonna go check that out. of the animals that are here are here for one of two reasons. Either they've been injured and cannot survive out in the wild, or they were born in captivity. So none of the animals that are here were brought here for any reason other than to actually help them continue to live a life. So it kind of reminds me of Jurassic Park here with the high electric fences and the animal enclosures. It's like to come around the corner and find the raptors. So here at Homosassa Springs, right underneath where I'm standing right now is actually the head spring. And it is pumping out over a million gallons of water every day. And sometimes of the year pumps out even up to 2 million gallons of water a day. Now, the interesting thing about a lot of the springs that you do find here in Florida, and there are several of them, is that all of the water that comes up is very, very warm. And so because of that, you find a lot of marine life that needs that warm water. Manatees really being one of those animals that especially in the winter time, need that extra warmth and that extra warm water. So it's just really cool to be able to see all of the different marine life then that want to hang out in these areas where the, there's the springs. Another really cool thing is just how deep these things go. Obviously not being a diver, you really can't quite see all the way to the bottom, but they are hundreds and hundreds of feet deep that the water is coming up out from underneath of the ground. So just a real natural wonder. If you are in the Florida area, you definitely want to make sure that you plan a trip to see one of these springs. And again, there are several, so just do some research and you can see which maybe spring would be closest to wherever you're going to be. But definitely get outside and and take advantage of being in the area if you're in Florida and check out one of these natural springs. Slapped a bear butt. <laughs> he's a small bear, isn't he? Yeah, Buddy the bear. Buddy the small bear. That's how they sleep. Do you think you could sleep standing on one foot? No? Shh, don't tell them I'm taking pictures of the signs. Oh, okay. Well, number one, I take some from signs, and number two, I take some like myself, like this. So one of the cool things about alligators that I didn't realize or think of is that, first of all, they have very small brains. So they really kind of just think about three essentials. One, am I warm? Two, am I safe? And three, where's the food source? And because of their small brains and with a food source, they will go back to the same source over and over again looking for food. So something that's super important when it comes to that is not feeding 
alligators because then they look to human beings as a source of food. Another really cool thing is that they're kind of like nature sanitation system. They eat a lot of things that are dead or decaying and they just help to keep a lot of the waterways clean. And they also help to control the bird population as well so that that stays in balance in the ecosystem. So even if alligators aren't your favorite animal, they definitely are a vital part of the ecosystem and have their place. Coming home? No, I'm going to stay up underneath that thing. It's snakes. He checks me out. See, if I put my elbow against here, he's going to go sniff it. See, now he's sniffing it. great time here at Homosassa Springs State Park in Florida. <coughs> there is definitely plenty for everybody to see here at this particular state park. The trail's very nice. It's definitely accessible if you need an accessibility trail or have accessibility issues. So it can really be enjoyed by all. And what was your favorite thing? Well, my favorite thing might have been, um, I don't know, probably seeing the big potato aka Ariel the manatee. The manatees, yeah. I called her, I call her big potato because she's like huge and she kind of looks like a potato, honestly. They do kind of look like potatoes, don't they? So they oh, have manatees. Like the brown ones. So they have manatees and lots and lots of sea life, the underground observation area, which was just pretty amazing. What did you think of the underwater observation? I say we were submerged not in water, not in soda, in fish. In fish. There There's was like a ton of fish. So much fish. There was so much fish. So I'm pretty sure there was We appreciate though. everybody watching this video, don't we? Yeah. And what do we need people to do? We want you to um, like and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. Hit the bell to get all of the notifications when we post new content and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.